Right guys, I know that a lot of you have wanted this video ahead of paper three, so here it is. There are only two questions on this video. One's a six marker and one is a 16 marker. It's only short because I wanted to get it out ASAP, but I hope it's useful anyway. So we're gonna start with the six marker. It's an application question in which a researcher has been doing an ideographic piece of research with offenders, and now the question is asking you how this could be developed by taking a nomothetic approach. It's a little bit wordy and it's a little bit tricky, but actually what this question wants from you is for you to say what the differences are between the nomothetic and the ideographic approach in terms of how they approach conducting research. So you're going to want to think about things like the use of large samples in a nomothetic approach, the use of quantitative methods, data analysis, anything that allows for a scientific approach to creating general laws. And obviously, because it's an application question, you have to frame it around the study that the researcher is already doing with offenders. OK, so this is what I would do. I would start by saying what a nomothetic approach actually is and obviously relate it to the question. Then I would start giving my examples of what the researcher could actually do. So things like take large samples and why they should take large samples, what that sampling might look like, data analysis with examples of data analysis techniques, why they might want to conduct some data analysis in terms of creating general laws. Okay, so on the screen you can see some examples of what I would do they're by no means exhaustive, but that is enough to get you the full six marks. OK, so let's move on to the essay. It's a nice, straightforward question. Just a simple discuss the two approaches. So this is how I'm going to go about it. I'm going to give a brief outline of each approach. I'm going to talk about what they are and I'm going to talk about how they work. That includes data gathering techniques and general research techniques that nomothetic and ideographic approaches might use. I'll most likely refer to some examples throughout, although as it's not an application essay, I may not do it that much. Of course, if you do ever get an application essay on this, just have a look at where I have my examples in the essay I'm about to show you and build in more of those examples at various points in your own essay. I also have three evaluation points and I'll say a little bit more about them when we have a look at the full essay. OK, and then when you put it all together, it will look something like this. The outline is quite chunky, but there is a fair amount to say, so don't worry about that. I said before that I've only got three evaluation points, but they are very detailed and they follow a nice logic. OK, so don't worry about the fact that you've only got three. You can still get a level four if you have the right amount of detail in each of them. So in this case, you can see they get progressively bigger and more detailed as they go through the essay. I've got a point for each approach. Both of these points mention the other approach a little bit as well. So I'm talking about both of them a little bit in each of those evaluation points. And then my final point at the end argues for an interactionist approach. So rather having to use one approach or the other, it says, well, actually, we could be using both of them. And then it gives an example of how we could use both of them and why that might be quite beneficial. OK, so that's a really nice way to round off an essay in issues and debates. If you can get a little bit of an interactionist approach and you can say we shouldn't be doing one or the other, but maybe there's a way in which both can work together. OK, it's a discussion point. Examiners will love it and it will give you some nice marks. OK, so don't worry about the fact that there's only three evaluation points. Like I say, if you can flesh it out and if you can give some detail to each of those, then you are easily going to get a level four essay, no problem. OK. So that is it for this video. I know it's been short, but I hope it's been useful. This is the last video I'm going to do before paper three, which is going to kick off in less than 12 hours. So I hope it reaches those people that asked for it. And I hope it's useful to everybody else as well. Pop any questions in the comments section below and I'll get back to you ASAP. If you sit in the exam, all the best, stay calm, and remember your training. You are going to smash it. Thanks for listening. I hope it's all made sense, and I'll see you around.